In guided reading this week, we have a new book, Little Kids' First Big Book of Animals by Catherine D. Hughes. So let's open it up to find out which animal we're going to be reading about today. And on the first page, we have a picture of a giraffe sticking out its tongue. Here we have our contents page. So this contents page tells us on which page we will find information about different animals. So looking at the contents page, you might need to pause your video. Can you tell me on which page you would read about a sea otter? And again, you might need to pause your video. Can you tell me, or an adult at home, which page you would read, need to turn to to read about the snowy owl? And our animal today lives in the grassland. Grasses are the main plants that grow in grasslands. There are not many trees here. And today we are reading about the cheetah. Cheetah cubs play games. A cheetah family wakes up early. The mother cheetah goes to hunt for food. Cheetah cubs climb on a tree. When a cheetah is up high, it can see far away. And a cheetah's long tail helps it balance when it makes sharp turns. Cheetahs run faster than any other land animal, 65 miles an hour. That is as fast as a car drives on a highway. And some more facts about our cheetah. The kind of animal, a cheetah is a mammal. Its home is in parts of Africa and Asia. Its size is about as tall as a large dog. The food it eats is gazelles, impalas, hares and other animals. And the sounds it makes, it chirps, it twitters, it hisses and it purrs. And the babies, it usually has two to five at a time, but usually three. Turning over the page, cheetah cubs play games. They chase each other and pounce. Sometimes they pounce on top of each other. Cheetah comes from cheetah, a word in Hindi language that means spotted. And why do you think the word cheetah means spotted in the Hindi language? Adult cheetahs can run very fast. Baby cheetahs practice running like their mother. Imagine six four-year-old kids lying in a line head to feet. That is the distance that a running cheetah covers with each step. The mother cheetah protects her cubs. She watches them play. When a cub gets tired, mum is there for snuggle time. Can you count the number of times the word cheetah appears in this story? So using the pages for guided reading that are in your pack for this week, you can the number of times in our guided reading for this week it says cheetah.